Good day, listeners. I am Mr. Abiono Kamaldin. I will be handling mathematics. And the topic before me is trigonometry 2. For the lesson objectives, learners will be able to 1. Evaluate the area of any kind of triangle. 2. Apply the cosine and the sine rule in solving triangles, especially non-right-angled triangles. Firstly, how do we evaluate the area of a triangle? This is done using that popular formula. Area of a triangle equals half base times height. But we need to note that the base and the height we are talking about here, they must be perpendicular to each other. What do we mean by perpendicularity? So we say two lines are perpendicular if the angle between them is 90 degrees. A very good example I can use to depict that is our capital letter L. The two strokes of our letter L, they are at right angle to each other. The angle between them is 90 degrees. Another example is capital letter T. The two strokes also form right angle. So meaning that the base and the height we are talking about must act like the strokes of what L letter L or letter T. I have a question here. It said a triangle has a base to be 10 centimeter and its height as what 5 centimeter. Find the area of the triangle. This one is very straightforward. The area is equal to half base times height. That is, the base is 10. Half of 10 times the height, which is 5. So that will be 5 times 5, which is 25 centimeter squared. Question 2 I have here is a wire question. It says, given a right angle triangle LMN such that side LN equals 4 centimeter. Angle LNM equals 90 degree and tan Y equals 2 over 3. What is the area of the triangle LMN? Looking at the triangle that you see there, we realize that angle LMN equals to Y is the Y there. So LN, if you also label the triangle, from using opposite hypotenuse adjacent, we realize that LN is our opposite and MN is our adjacent, while LM is what hypotenuse. We realize that the LN and MN are two perpendicular lines, they are perpendicular, they form like uh, the strokes of L. So if you want to find the area of such a triangle, it will be what? Half of what? Base times I. The base can be MN and the height be what? LN. So, but LN has been given. We don't know MN. So how do we get MN? We can just get MN by using our SOCATOA. The normal way of getting our, you know, stand from TOA is the ratio of opposite over adjacent. Our opposite there has been given as, that's LN has been given as 4. And the adjacent, MN, is not given. Let it be A. So it means our uh, tan Y should be 4 over A. But from the question, tan Y has been given as what? 2 over 3. So equate 2 over 3 to 4 over A. Well, that would be what? If you cross multiply, we have 2a equals to 6, equals to 4 times tv. That's 2a will be equals to 12, and a equals to 6. So as a result, the uh, base is what? 6. So hence, we can see area of the triangle is what? Half 6 times 4, which is called tv times 4, and that is 12 centimeters square. In the next segment, we shall look at Finding the area of a triangle whose perpendicular height is not given. Thank you very much.
you are welcome back to the second segment here we want to find the area of a triangle whose uh, perpendicular height is not given so let's given the triangle a b c triangle a b c we mean it means the vertices the end the vertices are a b and c so they are the angle of such triangle so the angled angles are labeled already how do we label the side the principle we use in labeling the side is that the side that is what opposite to angle a will be called side small a the one that is opposite to angle b will be called side small b and the side that is opposite to angle c will be called what side small c now let me just have a, make a little construction here to suit my purpose um from c we need a perpendicular line to be able to get our height so from c draw a perpendicular line to what to meet line a b so at what at d point d so doing that it means the triangle now i can have divided the triangle into two into two right angled triangle one is triangle c d a is a right angle we also have triangle c d b now let me pick triangle c d a and see if it is possible for me to find that height that has been created the perpendicular height so from there i can generalize my formula so what do we do in that case if i label the right angle triangle the side that is opposite okay and i pick angle a as my uh, target so the side that is opposite to what angle a is the height which will be called the opposite and the longest side there is what our small b which we call hypotenuse so from there i can say sine a equals h over b if i cross multiply there i have h equals b sine a so i've got uh, an uh, expression for my h i can now go back to what the formula for the area of a triangle which is half base times height my base there is small c and what my height has been what got to be b sine a so if i substitute that i have what uh, the area will be equal to half c times b sine a so that would be what half b c sine a really i can say that for me to apply this particular formula i must have two side and the angle between them what am i saying if i have the triangle the way i've drawn it here i must have two side and the angle between them which you call the included angle any two side given they must give me the word the angle between them to be able to use this formula so in such a case we say that what the area will be what half b c sine a so i have some question here question number one we have been given a triangle and two sides have been given as 12 centimeter and 7 centimeter and the angle between the, the two sides is given as 55 degree so what do i do there i have a equals what area equals to half 12 times 7 sine 55 and that will be what 34.40 centimeter square you just have to apply your calculator there so if you do that you have 34.40 centimeter squared i have another question here turn is why question so it is the diagram is a triangle x y z whose area is 23.5 centimeter squared side x y is given as 10 centimeter and side y z is 8 centimeter calculate theta if you look at this triangle here the theta you can see the theta given there the theta is angle x y z or we simply put it as angle y is theta and they have given us 
side x y to be 10 and side y z to be 8 centimeter so it means it has satisfied the condition for using this formula so i just have area of the triangle will be what half of 10 times 8 sine the theta there so if i make sine theta a set of formula i have sine theta will be equal to 23.5 divided by 40 using my calculator there i have is equal to 0 0.5875 so if i look for the sine inverse of that value my theta will be equal to 35.98 so in the next segment we are going to look at sine and cosine you are welcome back to the last segment of today's mathematics we want to look at how we can use the cosine rule so firstly when do we apply it like um, we did in the last segment when we uh, the how we apply that particular the formula for the area of what of the triangle we said we must have two sides must be given and the angle between them must be given so the same thing for cosine rule we must have two side and what the angle between them which you call the included angle so sometimes we say side angle side so when you have such for example now let's say we are give we have been given side b and c here yeah? and we have also been given angle here which is between them so the first thing that we can find here the first parameter we can find directly here is what the side that is what opposite to the given angle here now we have assumed that the given angle is a so the side opposite to angle a is what small a so the formula how does the formula now go the formula is now what will now be the a we want to look for that side that is opposite to the given angle that will be a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a so that's the statement a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a i have a question here a triangle has been given and the two sides two sides of the triangle are given eight centimeter and six centimeter why the angle between them is given as 120 degree the question says find x x is the third side and that is what opposite to angle 120 so to do that it means x is what we can get directly there so you applying the formula for cosine rule we have x squared equals to what x squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 8 times 6 cos 120 so 8 square is 64 6 square is 36 2 times 8 times 6 we give us 96 minus uh, 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 cos 120 is equal to what minus 0 0.5 so times minus 0 0.5 so by the time we do that 64 plus 36 will give us 100 so when you multiply minus 96 by minus 0 0.5 it will give us 48 when you had that we have 148 and then we are looking for x so x will be what the square root of 140 which is 12.7 centimeter so that is on that one the second question i have here is a wire question and it says a triangle abc outside ab at 17 meter bc is of 12 meter long is 12 meter long and then ac side ac is of length 10 meter so calculate the largest angle of the triangle question two find the area of the triangle the area of the triangle based on what we did in the last segment i want you to find out to calculate the area of the triangle and you can get back to us on our social media uh, handle. So largest tri largest angle. The first thing you need to do here is to what? Draw that triangle and insert the information given there. So just draw any triangle ABC, label it ABC, put AB to be 17 meter, BC to be 12 meter, AC is equal to what? 10 meter, and label the side too. So this is the largest angle. What we can know about largest angle is that the largest angle will also have relationship with what? With the largest side. 
So the largest angle will be opposite to the largest side. From here now, you can see that the largest side is 17 meter. So 17 meter is AB. And the angle that is opposite to it is what? Angle C. So this you can see now, we have been given TV size. No angle at all. We want to find the angle. That is another condition for cosine. So majorly those are the two conditions for cosine. So TV size, if all the sides are given and you want to find an angle, so you can use your what? Your cosine. So the one that will now be outside is the side that is opposite to the angle you are looking for. We are looking for angle C now, which is the largest angle. And the, the corresponding side is what? 17. So we just have 17 squared equals 10 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 10 times 12 cos C. So there we have 289 equals to 100 plus 144 minus 240 cos C. So if you make cos C the subject of the formula there, we have cos C equals minus 45 over 240, which is minus 0 0.1875 from our calculator. Find the cos inverse of it. We have C equals to 100.81 degree. So and then in that case, we have what the approximately it is 101, 101 degree. So I have some assignment here for you. See the assignment on the screen. So in a triangle, PQS, PQ is 12 centimeter, PS is 5 centimeter, and angle PSPQ is PRQ. Is equal to angle PRQ, which is 90 degree. Find correct rotation configures PR. Thank you very much.